So we got us a Garrett Turbo here. This is, they don't tell you in these videos that this is the top of them, but this is the top. When you got the top up, then you got arrows right here. It teaches these. So that makes everything so you don't have to mark it. Everybody says mark, mark, mark. You don't have to. Then we also notice that these are left-handed threads. Yeah, look at that. It goes right on. Yeah. Huh. Yep. So we're going to put this on here. And now we got the vein tightened up. And uh, since we already said that the oil galley in the top is the top, so we know that because now we got the vein on there, you can't see the arrow. But we already know this. And there's an arrow right here that tells you that's the top. So you tighten it up. That's pretty much all there is putting side cover on. Simple as pie. Okay, now we're on the other side of it. We got all the little dogs there lined up, which I've already lined them. Get all those to lay down in there just right. But anyhow, everybody says to mark all this stuff, and it's really not true. This little hole that goes in there for that wastegate valve is at the bolt for the heat shield. It's kind of the marker already on the product, on the turbo here. I can only had it once. Took it off so I could show on this video. There we go. She's dropped down. Now, when you set this other case on there, to line this hole up with this slot right here, then you can turn it and it'll let that wastegate valve move so you can line up this pinhole right here. It should drop all down all by itself without pressing or forcing on nothing. If it don't, then something's in the bind. But I've already had this and on, so I know it don't, but that's pretty much all there is to that. And a pin that lines up here and a pin that lines up here on the top half, and when you line those up, it'll just drop right in almost. Yeah. Yep. Right there. Mm -hmm. Yep. There's a big old turbo all put together, about ready to go in the truck. We almost forgot you got to put this ring on there. And it goes just like this. If you look over here at this tube, how this is laid up, then this goes on. And then the upper part of that. Get it on there. Get that on there, and then you got the clamp in the right spot. Which I marked mine before I took it apart on that clamp so I could get it right back in the exact spot. I don't think it matters so much, but you don't want it to interfere with no hoses or tubes. So that's really about the only thing I found on the turbo you need to either take a picture of or mark. Which I took a picture of it, but uh, that's the only thing really that you have to mark. Everything else is marked from the factory. 